Hello, hello there. Back and playing Automa Chef. Here is level 27, Passenger Frenzy. And my solution to it. Boy, what a nightmare this was. Uh, guess what? This one, this level caused me nothing but pain, Robert. Robot. <laughs> Robot. <laughs> um, so, here, here is the nightmare. Lots of sorting into the different windows here. And we did have very little overlap between things so we have the fries here and the big salad which also goes into this small uh, the side salad goes into the family meal healthy family meal gets the big salad and then fries were their own thing i honestly just ended up creating a line for everything so there was no reason to like combine at some point uh there there to me there wasn't that much space to kind of do any of that so anyway um Thankful that the fries are very compact. All I did here was sort them. So everything is on order readers, by the way. You can probably see that real quick. Um, everything, everything is on order readers. So uh, packing machine here, sort it, sort it to the windows here. High speed for the side salad to keep up with everything because uh, these side salads were heading on out to be combined here with that spicy BLT for the small family meal. Is that right? No, that's not right. Where was the BLT? Oh, in the healthy family meal. Got it. Um, back here, you can see this is where the chicken is getting fried, so small chicken pieces. Goes here, goes through there. Uh, power was not really too much of a concern, so you'll see that some of them did get a little control to just be on while things were ordered, but that was really it. So next up, big salad, high speed. There was there was a risk of fire, but for whatever reason, the only time that would happen is if I accidentally like had things back up on a conveyor grill or the fryer for even a brief moment. Here's the chicken salad, one of my least favorites because it has weird things that need to happen. The chicken basically means you have to kind of account for that. Um, let's see. Over here is where the ultimate dog is being made. I actually brought that down so it could time out with the other things that were being made. Because otherwise, what would happen is as it was coming out, the, uh, over here would get backed up. This would get completely full of Ultima dogs. Because the big salad has quite a time to be made and then the fried chicken because there's two of them also takes a bit, little bit longer to be made and that I did have to put on a convection fryer. I usually start with just a regular fryer uh, and it's hard to predict whether or not you should be going for something that uses a lot more power or not. Uh, but anyway from there everything goes into storage bins and then is sorted. The only thing I didn't have for that over there is a teleporter just to try it out. I also ran out of room, but the family meal was teleported and then sorted. Anyway, uh, most everything else, I believe, is on regular intervals for their dispensing and manufacture. I uh, just highlighted the things that were on high speed because I do believe we lose a few meals. Uh, but, I don't know, this was a blur. And I did see a few people who tried to use like the overlapping ingredients or recipes in some of the meals it, w it looked very intimidating honestly and they were using computers so I didn't end up going that direction but I did find some German language videos that did help at least guide me in the way that I could modify things to use my current solution because I didn't want to go back and start fresh or try to rearrange everything that I had already done so we tried to make what improvements we could and I think also on this one, because it was such a challenge, it took me about four hours of like putting everything together, needing to put it down for a while, taking a step back, doing some of the DLC challenges, like the Chinese New Year and Thanksgiving, and then coming back to it. Oh, I thought we were gonna lose that big family meal. I know for sure we do lose one or two. I feel like that was a thing. So yeah, you can see a lot of these con the conveyor grills are the things that I ended up controlling. 
telling it to turn on and off. And honestly, I could have put those on timers instead. So the manufacturing time, like that time between when the food is grilled and then delivered, it's a few seconds and it adds up. Because I think initially I was bordering into like the like 20,000, 22,000 uh, watt hour usage there. The energy use was very high initially when I just had everything on. Should be it. Just gotta pump out those two small family meals and we're done. So we didn't lose any meals. Interesting. I thought for sure, but yeah, I know that the it's not the most efficient setup. Honestly, I was just happy to get this one done with all three objectives. But anyway, hopefully this helped you out. Yes, you can indeed get this done with one without a computer and two by having each line be independent to each recipe. So they're all not they're not sharing any sort of ingredients with each other. Anyway, hopefully you found this helpful. If so, please throw this video a like. Consider subscribing, that would be appreciated. And for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.